<laughs> Welcome, replay viewers, to my scoop tonight. Um, I know that you can't comment. It sucks. I know, but you can always come to Instagram because I love Instagram. Hello, everyone. Welcome. I see Florence and April. I think I saw Amy, Mandy, Dreams. Hello, everyone. Hi, Wendy. I'm just gonna move you guys up just a little bit. Pig, pig. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'll let people jump in. Hi, Pam. This is gonna be fun. Hello, hello, Miss Sarcasm. Ooh, I'm very sarcastic. Hello from Maine. I didn't know you're from Maine, Valerie. I'm from Nova Scotia originally, so I'm um, not too far away. Just a boat ride. Hey, April. Amy, Pam. Hi, hi. Welcome, welcome. <coughs> I still have a bit of a. Sorry, I don't mean to cough. I was gonna say cough right in your ear. I'm not really coughing in your ear, but um, I still have a bit of a scratchy throat, so I'm sorry if my voice is kind of yucky. Thanks for the hearts already. Yay. Thank you, thank you. Um, so, yeah, so what I want to talk about is small world. Yeah, really. Um, VA, VA, okay, now is that Virginia? Because I'm not really... Yeah, you're getting ink. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah, it's awesome. I'm just going to go through, like, what I think of this planner and um, why I think it's so cool. <coughs> why I think you should go support them. Oh, look, those hearts are matching my, my cake tour. Yay, Virginia. Okay, yay. I'm not so bad at my American geography. Well, God, I don't even really know where Virginia is. I know it's in the south, maybe on the east coast. I don't know. But uh, at least I know what VA stands for, right? Okay, so uh, goals, actions, planning. Canada says hello. Where in Canada? Yay, paper plus cloth. Oh, uh, paper and cloth? Oh, my God, you got me. You got me hooked. You had me at a low. Uh, Philadelphia. Cool, I have no idea where that is. Oh, welcome from Philadelphia. Okay, uh, Ontario, yay! We were in Ontario this summer. We went to Toronto and Ottawa, and we went up camping in the woods. <laughs> East Coast, okay, cool. So I guess if I just went down the water from Nova Scotia, I'd land in Philadelphia, is what they said? Awesome, yeah, it was really fun, it was really fun. Okay, um, okay, I think we'll get going, unless USA, yay! Um, yeah, so unless you guys have anything else, keep bringing the comments in because I'll, I'll stop and answer any questions or give you my thoughts. Um, but uh, I'm going to jump right in. First, I'll introduce myself because I see there's a couple of new people. So I'm Kara from the Hooting Pirate. Here, I'll give you my little card. Um, it got a little wet, sorry. <laughs> and um, I work with planner girls who are struggling to find a planner that works for them. It is. It's a cake dory. Isn't it pretty? Oh, it's so pretty. It's fat. It's really chubby. And the reason it's chubby is because of this baby. Um, so I work with planner girls who are struggling to find a planner that works for them. And so I help them do that. I help them find planner peace and find a planner that can be their minion. Yeah, isn't it nice? I love it. I, it's, it's brand new. Oh, thanks for inviting followers. What's your first name? Is that your first name? I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm not going to try. What size is it? It's the biggest one that she has. It's like, because... um. I use, um, this is a moleskin. Th do you say Thera or Tara? Do you say the, do you say the H or is it silent? Because I use, um, moleskins. And then this way I can print stuff. Like this one is, um, yes I do. Uh, what did I ask you? I'm sorry. <laughs> I get so like, I don't know, distracted. Uh, I forget what, what, what I ask. And, um, yeah. So, yeah. So I can print there. Okay, so I can print this off and not have to cut it down and fit it in. You do? In, in, is your name Celine or Celine? Um, Because I don't know if it's like the French pronunciation or the English. Because I don't know where you're from. Um, yeah, so I, I wanted the big one. Plus, it's just chunky. It's like, a, I guess, A5. Because um, the Midori ones, they're just, just too narrow. And I can actually put Midori. Do I have one in here? Uh, no. Um, I do have... I think it's in the middle of this. I do have this, which is Midori size. It might be shorter though. Okay, Celine. Okay, so it's like the, like the English, the English version of the Celine French version. Okay, got it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so I can fit Midoris in there, but like the Midori size or any size really. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. So I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So this is my planner piece. This is my and I. It's not that um. It's going to stay like this. Like, I'm always tweaking and going forward with this. But for now, this is what works. This keeps me organized. And it's pretty. Oh, my voice. Sorry. Okay. Thanks. 
box. Yeah, this is okay, Cake Dory from Cake Paper and Etsy. Yeah, love it. And I have another one, but it just didn't photograph well. It is chunky. Oh, hello, there's Gretchen. Um, yeah, so um, just showing off your book. So follow Gretchen. She is, um, she made this for me. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. So Cake Dory, Cake Papery on Etsy. Okay, so let me show you. So I just, this is an off print that didn't really, like I see, so you can see. Yeah, she does. Um, thanks for inviting me, book Karen. Um, see, I just it didn't print right, and then some of the, the inside, the backs were like it printed upside down because my printer kind of screwed up. So, and like cut off. So I just want I just want to show you what the cover was like because I. You have one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do have one. Um, yeah, they're great. Um. So yeah, I kind of decorate a little bit, so I just want to show you what it looked like. So, commit thirty. All right, so I'm so excited about this planner. It's a Kickstarter. Thank you for inviting people, Gretchen. It's a Kickstarter, um, and if you go to commit30.com, there's more information about the Kickstarter there, or you can go to Kickstarter and and um, 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 search. God, it's too late in the night. I, can't, I was thinking of the French word. Okay, so if you if you um, search commit30, you'll find that on Kickstarter as well. And they're almost to their goal, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna go through but if you order now I'm just gonna put this in now but if I forget to tell you later if you order now if you support them I think it's $27 then you get um, the planner sent to you when if it goes through which I'm pretty sure it will in and if you go $30 then you get it sent to you in the first round and it's in December so I think I'm gonna do that but the only problem is that it's ring bound and I would really, I would, and I had to pay the shipping to Luxembourg, which is $20 extra. But I would pay that because I really think that people need this planner. Um, but I don't like that it's ring bound. So I like this. This is free on their site. If you go to Commit 30, you can get September, October, November, December, I think. Is it September? Um, hold on. I'm going to explain this in a minute. Yeah, so it starts in September. You get four months free as kind of like a trial to see if you like it. So I'm... What I would love, and I so I printed it out, and what I would love to be able to do is to print. I know, I know, I know, Amy. Screw ring bound. I could like rip it out and sew it, but I really like to have them stitched down the middle and in a in a book, right? This is this is what I like to do. This is what I do. See, you've got well, I'm. This is a moleskin, and this I don't know. I just want to be able to put it in here. Because this is my, there, see, I've got another one. This is my happy place. This is my planner piece. This is the, what, anyway. Long story short, I, I haven't, I haven't um, supported them yet. But even if I, even if I don't get the planner, I'm still going to support them. I, oh, I should cover that. I haven't decided if I'm going to, um, I haven't decided if I'm going to get the planner or not. Because it's ring bound. So I, I might even email her and ask her if they'll, if I do get the planner, if I can actually get the printable version as well. Because this comes printed. Okay, let me show you the pages. Okay, so 30 day challenge page. Yes, I know. I'll get there in a second. Bam, it's awesome. I could, but I think it's really big. I think it's A5. I forget, but I'm, I think it's A5. Okay, so you have this page. Okay, so but this, well, maybe I'll show you one. Look, okay. So you see Wednesday the 25th and Thursday the 1st. They don't line up. That's because when you stitch it together, okay, come on, focus, um, they're going to be in the right spot. So they have it all set up to print in a book. Yeah, I saw their post on Instagram today. Um, so I'm just going to show you the, how this is set up so that you just print it and you can just put it in right order and stitch it or staple it or whatever. Oh, Amy, you're so smart. I bet the stickers are coming out because, like, they're square, right? Remember I was telling them about the... Okay, I'm getting all excited. The square. Okay, so this one matches up. I don't know if you can see because it won't focus because it's an iPad and they do strange things. Okay, so that matches up. And then you can see my stitching in the middle. But if you go to the page before... Let me take my clip off. I don't know if that was holding on. Um, so if you can see this page is Wednesday the 21st, which would go, I'm just trying to flip it, right? So this is the same sheet. Sorry, I'm slow. It's it's nighttime. I decided to do stairs. No, is that right? 
Yeah. So this page, this and this is the same sheet. But when you, so when you have it flat out, do I have a copy of here? One of that printed wrong? It's so hard to explain. Oh yeah, I do. Look at that. Oh, lucky. Okay. So this is the sheet here. That looks really dumb beside each other. But the fact is, when it's in the book, it fits in the right spot. So you've got this one like across from this one. And this one goes 24, 20, 24, 21, 22. So they have it all set up on the website. So all you, all you, just, all you need to do is just print um, and bind it somehow. You can punch in. This is the booklet. And they also have um, 8.5 by 11, which you can just put in a binder. But I don't like binders for the players. Okay, so. All right, so they have a little page where you can, um, to tell you what to do, what you can do. This is like, I real I forgot, I, I started off in October and then I turned the page and I came back and I was in September. So I didn't bother with September except for, um, last week. And I just decorated that a little bit and put my, whatever. Okay, so you've got, I love that it's, um, let me find a blank one. I love that it's the whole week and it's vertical. So you have, um, you have life to-do list, and week work to do list, and then a space for notes. Okay, so printing on both sides. They have it set up so you can just go in your printer and say print both sides because mine has that option. But when I did that, mine ended up upside down on the, on the back, which I don't know why. So, and I, I didn't flip it or anything. I did it the way they said I put it in. No, I didn't even put it back in the printer because it just printed once one side and then it printed the other side. Okay, and we'll focus. Um, so it did it all by itself. So what I did was I printed the odd pages first, put them, put those pages back in my printer, and then hit um, print even pages, and that's how it worked out. And then I just had to make sure that they were in the right order before I stitched it. And I put um, pattern paper on the front. Okay, so it's got all this, all this fun stuff. It's vertical, which I love because I love lists. It's got a spot for your three big things which is what I'm going to use, but they give you a bunch of different suggestions on this front page. And Monday to Sunday. Yeah, see, that's very, very European, and I really think that's... Um, you printed them yesterday? Awesome! That's cool, Natalie. I'm glad. I really love it. I'm so excited. Um, but I like it. I don't know if I like it. I don't like it on my wall calendar, because I'm still, like, Canadian, but even though I've been in Europe for 15 years, and they put Monday first, I can't get... When I look at the global picture on my calendar, this is okay because it's just a week. But when I have the whole month, it really screws with my head. <laughs> I can't get I can't get around. It has to be Sunday first. But anyway, um, so then you've got another. So you can put your big three here, and then another list of three here. So what I've done is I put my work stuff here, and then my household chores here. Um, you think of your week. Yeah, it's and it's biblically correct, right? Because you've got the um, Sunday at the end. We took a rest. Yeah, I like it. All, I, I like them together too, April, because then it's like the weekend together. Yeah, yeah. You're the same as who, Valerie? Me or them? Yes. Um, and then this it says, this week I commit to, and so you can write something in this space up here. But this is my favorite. I think next week's plan. What are you gonna focus on next week? You. Okay. Yay! Yay for the um, East Coast lobster people, right? Um, so you can put your next plan. So you have it. It's just there. You don't, maybe you're not going to read it every time you open your planner, but you're going to see it, right? Okay, that's what, that's what's up for next week. That's what's up for next week. Yeah, lobster people. That's your laugh, man, I'm assuming. Um, okay, so, um, I think I mentioned this before, but I don't really like the color scheme. It's just kind of blah. Oh, that's right, April. Well, there you go. Of course you can't use the weekend banners if it's split up. You got to get the planner to fit the stickers, right? Um, okay, so this is this week. Um, and so what I did was I took, these are stickers from Little Blue Garden, and what I did was I cut them on my, so I cut out squares, um, I wonder if I have this sheet, I think I threw the, I think I threw the empty away, let's just check in my pile of junk here that I purposely put off screen, no, I must have thrown, yeah, I can see it crumpled in the garbage, um, so in, on my, in my silhouette studio, what I did was, okay, let's pretend that this is big, and it's a rectangle, so I just took a, just cut out a square on the Silhouette Studio, and then I cut out these things on the bottom of it. Um, I wonder, I wonder if I can show you, because it's really hard to explain. <laughs> With my crumpled up garbage. Um, 
Yeah, this is pretty crumbled. Okay, so if you can sort of see what I did is I cut out a square on the top. This was all one. Thank you. Um, this was all one box, and then I cut a rectangle that fit this and a square that fit that. And that's my garbage. Sorry, I didn't really want to show you my garbage, but it was hard to explain. Oh dear, my battery's getting low. Okay, um, so, okay, that's my planner. Now, why do I love this planner so much besides the layout? Because not only, okay, there's three things that you need to do to be able to achieve a goal. First, you need to have a goal. And most of us, like, oh, I want this, and I want that, and I want this, and this, and this. And we've got that. Some of us are, like, goal-oriented. Okay, I can do this. I can want this. I want this. And then there's other people. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, and I purposely went in when I when I was in my silhouette studio and cut out the rectangles this side. So I do have a little strip in between, but that's in the garbage. Um, okay, so we have goal setters. Oh, that's are the, are the notices on? Um, sometimes the notices, sometimes I find my notices are on, but I don't get the notices. Especially when my kids have had my iPad, they'll turn down the volume so I don't hear their loud games. Um, but other times, yeah, sometimes I don't get the whistle, even if the volume's on. Anyway, okay, so we've got three, I think there's three types of people mostly. Um, goal setters, and there's other people who take action. They're always going, they're always doing, they're doing, they're here, they're there. Yay, I'm glad you're here. Um, so they're taking action, but what are they taking action on? Are they taking action on goals or just taking random action they think that's, um, you know, the action of the day, what they're what they're drawn to today. Then there's the planner people who, you know, make pretty plans and their schedule's all nice and neat. And even just like they've got lists. And um I think I fall in the plan the planner um game. I'm I've always got a list, I've always know what I'm gonna do. But what is that plan? Is it related to a goal? Not usually. And do I always take action on it? Not usually. So <laughs> I think what the best thing about this planner is, is it brings it all to all those three components together. Hello, welcome purple Mackie shop. Yay, Gretchen, thank you. Hi, new father. Okay. Do you have lots of, do I have lots of planners? Um, I have this one. Yeah, I love planners. I have this one, and all my stuff is in this book. I am a one book girl. I've, I'll change this out. Like, I just changed the cover, but I like to keep this is, I think this might be my new planner. I don't know. I'm trying it out. This is, look, it started on Saturday. <laughs> Today's Monday. But right now, so far, I'm really, really loving it because, yay, one book girl. Um, so far, it's just the way it's laid out. I have all the list of stuff that I want to get done this week here. And then I have, uh, for this is life to do, this is work to do. It's all there. So uh, thank you for inviting people, Natalie. So I've got everything on this one spread for the whole week. And then look, I've got what's coming up next week, which is my planner, please, my planner peace class, which is, um, I'm launching it. It's registration opens on the 14th, I think. So I'm working on launch more, uh, next week. So yeah. I'm excited. Okay, so the best thing about this planner is it brings all of it all together. Those three things. Everything's in this one book. Everything you need is on this one page. So, okay, you start your month. Or actually, it starts October, starts here. So you start your month with this page. It looks like this, but I covered up the circles with, with little, little blue garden stickers. Um, and so you have monthly goals. So you have your big goal for the month, and then you have your action steps. So you write down the big action steps and then even quizzes you at the end of the month. Did you do it? Did you follow through? So um, you have that to start off with. And then you go in and you write down per week what you want to get done that week. Where can you find? Okay, so it's commit, commit30. Oops, commit30.com. And there, it's a Kickstarter. So they have this free printable out now. And you can print off September through December. Or, or and, um, you can support them on their Kickstarter and get the actual ringbound planner. Mick, um, I think it's $27 to get the planner and then $30, $35, I can't remember, to get the ringbound planner sent. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, I'm so excited. Sent 
or the first round, which is in December, which I think what I'm going to do, but I really don't want the ring bound. Just download it. Yay, Valerie. It's so much fun. It's so awesome. Okay. So you've got, so you've got your goals. So you've got the goals and then you have the big action steps and you break it down to smaller action steps and then even smaller action steps. So then you've got a to-do list to do for the day. I know. We should all just sort of like support her and then say, okay, this is awesome, but you need to have it in different, different formats, right? Um, so, so far, like I found it really easy to, I didn't do everything today, but I found it really, the layout really works the way my brain works. It works even better than my other one did. Um, I don't like ring bound because it won't go in here. And this is what I love because I can put right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six books in here. How do I have it bound? I sewed it. I stitched it up the middle. Um, and I have a trick. If you just fold the middle page in half, you have a line to stitch on. And I, I like you guys, <clears throat> I can make a costume. Like I am, I've made like a queen Amidala, you know, star Wars costume from a picture. Uh, like cause the movie hadn't even come out yet. Like, okay. I'm not bragging, but that's just, just okay, I can do that, but I cannot save from to save my life. I cannot stitch straight. I no, I didn't hand I um my, size is mine. This is a five. I just smarty pants. Yeah, I'm being sassy. Um, I just um just folded it. Well, it's a four. It's I'm in Europe, so it's like eight and a half by eleven, but kind of off. Not exactly. I just fold it in half, and I stitched up the middle. Um, I think I did trim off a little bit. I can't remember. I know when I. No, I don't know. I don't think I trimmed it. Okay, so next thing I want to show you about this because it's really cool because I'm going to... Yeah, uh, yeah, it is really easy to hand stitch, but I have... Um, I just love my machine. I have A5. Yeah, I like A5. It's a good size. It's it's like you can lay it out and it's big, but then it folds up nice and nice, nice and small. Um, tutorial for Amy. What, I don't, was that a question? I'm, I'm confused. I find, I find sometimes with the comments, I know how, I, I know when I'm typing fast, I want to get it in, but then like, I don't know, I forget what the last part of the conversation was. It's like six conversations going at once because someone, you're talking to someone about one thing and then someone else about something else and then you're going with your content. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, mine is pretty hefty. Mine's a pretty hefty and it's, let's see how thick it is. Um. Uh, huh. I can plug my class, makes paper fun. Um, you need to find a planner that works for you first before you go. Um, see, it's not that thick, Amy. There's probably 15, 10, 15 pages. Um, for the stitching, yeah, do that, Amy. Um, it, my, it kind of was, wasn't really protesting, but it was, she wasn't happy that I was putting so much paper through. So I guess you, you can't just do it with you, like a, the $60 job from Walmart, um, you'd have to probably hand stitch it, <coughs> hand stitch it, or staple it, or, uh, I don't know, put elastic, you just fold it in half, if you've got a, if you've got a, um, Midori, you can just fold it in half, and you don't, you don't even need to stitch it, um, oh yeah, so Meg, I'm talking about my class, uh, yeah, so, oh yeah, there you, go. <laughs> you popped up right after, um, I thought of it, okay, so my class is finding your perfect planner, and, um, you can go to the hootingpirate.com and then slash practically perfect like Mary Poppins because no planner is absolutely perfect for you and it's going to be changing anyway, but it's a good way to get you the planner that's going to work for you and then you can decorate whatever you want. Um, yeah, and, but the thing with staples is you got to get that long reach one, right? Um, which I don't have, but yeah, so make, if you go there, you can, it doesn't open until, oh. Uh, I forget the date now. I just wrote it down today. I think it's the the um I think it's the fifteenth or the fourteenth. And class starts October twenty sixth. So what it is, it's it's diving deep in how you use a planner with by using a temporary planner, and then um then we figure out from all that information that we gather from using a planner and all the questionnaires and stuff. Then we go in and find you the perfect planner. So that's where I would say to start. But that's just because I'm biased. But then again. I really don't think you should go and try to buy six different planners, spend all that money, um, and then have it not work for you. Oh, 
mummy of monkeys, that is a really, really smart idea. So you just take like this staple, where's my stapler? You take the stapler open and staple it down with the eraser in the back. Hang on. So you put the eraser underneath. Where's the back page? There we go. You put the eraser underneath and then staple down and then fold it in after. That's so super, super smart. Yeah, awesome. Okay, uh, yeah, so I just want to talk about the last little bit. That's really cool. Um, it's this month I commit to, so it's a 30-day challenge. And actually at the front, on the front page, they have a list. I don't know if you can read it because it's in like that brown. 30 days of yoga, 30 days of Whole30, 30 days of green smoothies. Just go through and pick one or pick something else. Like I'm doing no phone, no phone when the kids are around. Well, limited phone when the kids are around because I don't think I could go completely cold turkey. Um, and then you just give yourself a little prize at the at, every day. I'm going to use these. Um, and I might even do a stamp. Yeah, there's two. Yay! Cool. Oh, I really love to have you in class. Yeah, there is so much, so much. There's a lot of research to do if you're going to, you know, if you just want to get one, I would start with just like a cheapy thing from, you know, or from the dollar store or print, free printables online. Even start now and just, just see what you like, what, what boxes you like, what layout you like. Print this off and see if this is what you like. Um, and then you, then you can tweak it. Um, okay, yeah, so then you check off every day, and then at the end you have a reward. Laundry for 30 days, yeah. I'm, I'm on a laundry kick. You see, I've got laundry written every day. I you, used to do laundry every day, but since we got home from vacation, I haven't been doing it, so I'm a little bit behind. Laundry, 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 laundry. That's exactly what I have at Dollar Store. There you go. Perfect. Try that, and then see what works for you. Okay, so... Um, yeah, so I was always struggling because I'd have all these lists of goals. I'd write them in my, um, like in my moles again. I had all these lists and uh, this is what I'm going to do. And then I break, even break it down in action steps. But the action steps never got into my calendar because my calendar is a wall calendar with my family stuff. Or I've got like an editorial calendar for my blogs and um, all that kind of thing. But it never got in my, never got really scheduled. So I'm going to try this and see if it works. Um, and it really seems simple to have it all in one book. Now, looking back in hindsight, I was just, I think it's just genius. It's genius. My voice is going. Um, yeah, so that's it. Any questions or anything else you got? Any other, um, anything you want to add? Um, anyone, who else, um, is going to be watching April Bulls Olin on Creative Live tomorrow? You're welcome, Plain Artist. That's right there. Oh my gosh. Commit is uh, free to download. Yeah, it is. Um, <clears throat> I can't remember exactly where it is. It's a commit30.com and then it's a freebies or free planner or something, but it's really, it's really easy to find. And I was going to do it in grayscale, but I don't know. It just looked kind of blah. Welcome, Tiffany. I'm so excited. I'm really excited for this planner. I hope that they do well. I think that they need it. They don't need much to get their to get their Kickstarter, um, and they've. I think they have two weeks left, so I'm sure they're gonna get it. Yeah, so it's exciting. All right, well, I'm gonna go to bed, guys. You're late. Hi, Cindy. Yeah, you're late. <laughs> it's okay. I'm hopping off. Um, but if you want to go to commit30.com and do download your free planner, where you can have your um, yeah, get some ink. Florence, are you still here? Did you get your ink? Um, yeah, so it's got goal setting, action steps, and planning all in one book. It's genius. It's absolutely genius. Um, yeah. You can watch the replay because I go into more detail. Um, yeah, and tomorrow I think I'll just be talking about April because I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Thanks, Valerie. We'll have sweet dreams, I hope, unless my baby comes in and kicks me in the face again like he did last night. <laughs> Yay, yay, Pam. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm going to be in the chat tomorrow. Um, I'm just going to put my kids in front of a movie maybe for half an hour. Well, I'll be making supper anyway. They're usually just playing at that time. So I'll be in the chat while I'm making supper. Yay. So excited. So excited. So that'll be... See, it's like a whole... It's a whole um, to-do with my list. It's got a whole square. I'm so excited. I'm going to put it. And everyone's been posting on Instagram and... Um, 
Chris even periscoped from his lunchroom. So sad I'm not there. But anyway, it's okay. You're welcome. I'm glad I inspired. Okay, um, I'll watch you while I'm brushing my teeth, Amy, because I'm going to bed. But yeah, I want to see. Um, and actually, if you sign up to my website, I do have a, um, it's a, a, it's something I'm stitching by hand as well. Where is it? And you get a free one of these books. Uh, not, you don't get the book. You get a tutorial how to make it. What is this chat of which you speak? Um, it's April Bulls Owen. Do I have something? So go to creativelive.com and search April Bulls Owen and it's double your following. I think it's with Creative Marketing and she has a boot camp. It starts tomorrow and it's 9 a.m. Pacific, which is 6 p.m. my time. And uh, yeah, so if you've got a creative business, hop on in. And um, so tomorrow is the only live day. I'm, they're pre-recording everything else and it's like an hour every day and it's a free class. But I actually paid for the class because I love April so much. I said the other on another scope that she could talk about how to watch the rain for hours on end. And I buy it because I love April. But anyway, yeah, you're welcome. So yeah, if you go to hootingpirate.com, um, you get a tutorial on how to make one of these little books. It's got like a notepad and stuff that should be in pockets, but they're not. And then a photo album doesn't it. See, I, I took this on my vacation, but then I couldn't I couldn't bring myself to use it because this is the, the sample one I actually use in the in the um, tutorial. So anyway, I do have a step instead of stitch. Yay, good. I'm so excited to watch. Um, instead of stitching with the machine, I do have a, um, a step in the tutorial where you can hand stitch like a book binding type thing. So you can watch that if you sign up at the Hooting Fire. Um, yeah, and if you go to the, if you also go on that list, you could hear, if Meg, if you're still here, you could hear more about, um, my class when, when it gets a little closer. All right, girls, I'm going to go to bed. Hop on over to April. Um, I'll share it. Uh, not April. Yeah. Amy. Sorry. Amy. I don't know why I get you guys mixed up. I think it's just because your name will start with A. Um, so yeah, Amy, uh, Amy I'll share if you do it soon and uh, everyone go watch Amy. So, all right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.